last one. I think, yes, last one. Dear Master, first of all, I'd like to send you my infinite gratitude and love. Thank you so much for the right pointings at the right time. <coughs> all of my questions have been answered by answering the one simple question of who am I? But two minor formalities remain. Could you please share your wisdom with me on these? My first question would be, what is the actual requirement to lead satsangs? What is actually what is the actual requirement to lead satsangs? I have an immense impulse to help others, and when you appear to me in a vision, you told me that I'm here on this mission, and later you reveal more and more details. Now I don't know much yet about the rituals and tradition of satsang because the whole process of realization happens so fast in one year, basically. But I know for sure that I am that. Even if the mind shoots all of its arsenal, I still am. I recognize it immediately. <coughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that theoretically the one and only requirement to be able to lead satsangs? Mm -mm. <laughs> now, the second question might sound a little funny, but this is the very last impulse that manages to bother me, in bracket, even if it is for a short moment. It happens that more and more beings are coming into my life that require my guidance and help, and I am glad to serve. I live for that. Now, whenever it happens that an attractive woman shows up, <laughs> I start questioning my motives for a major quick moment. Then I remember my true nature and stay in that. <laughs> but this first moment of attraction is always very strong, and when a certain part of mine starts sending signals, <laughs> do you know what this person is talking about? Then? <laughs> but when a certain part of mine starts sending signals to my brain, in bracket, in bracket, which happens naturally, close bracket, it is very hard to remain pure in that second. I think it's more than a second, isn't it? How do you handle this kind? Highlighted. <laughs> How do you handle this this kind of let's say temptation? <laughs> Thank you so much, Guruji, and Dmitri Selsky. P.S. Thank you so much for this life. P.P.S. Thank you, Lord, for all the beautiful women. <laughs> In brackets and men. I think he's really ready for satsang, don't you? Think? So it's two highlights, one up here, one at the bottom. So I think if we deal with the second part, because the first part talk about the requirements for satsang, I have an immense impulse to help others, and when you appeared in my vision, you told me I'm here on this mission, and later you reveal more and more details. And now I don't know much yet about the rituals and traditions of satsang, because the whole process of realization happens so fast, in one year, basically. But I know for sure that I am that. Even if the mind shoots all of its arsenal, I still am. I recognize it immediately. Correct me if I'm wrong. But isn't that, theoretically, the one only requirement to be able to lead satsangs? 
Now, the second question <laughs> might sound a little funny, but this is the very last impulse that manages to bother me, even if it's only for a short moment. <coughs> it happens that more and more beings are coming into my life that require my guidance or help, and I'm glad to serve. I live for that. <laughs> now, whenever it happens that an attractive woman shows up, I start questioning my motives for a minor quick moment. <laughs> then I remember my true nature <laughs> and stay as that. Okay? <laughs> but, <laughs> but this first moment of attraction is always very strong. And when a certain part of mine starts sending signals to my brain, which happens naturally, it is very hard to remain pure in that second. How do you handle <laughs> this kind of, let's say, temptation? Is he ready to start satsang? Ah, <laughs> uh, Dimitri, Dimitri. <laughs> we, we have had a few. I think the world has had a few of those ones. Uh, <laughs> the signals. How do you... <laughs> So if you see if you see me giving that signal to you, <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't think that God is going to send you out with those strong signals. That's the wrong signals to say, now you go out and you go and guide. You're ready. You're ready for that. You have to transcend also that uh, being somehow driven by these kind of impulses. And in the course of your own Satsang, these energies also they get neutralized you know, like that. <clears throat> it's not that oh you know there will never be any sort of uh, sexual vibration may happen and so on, but these things cannot be you are driven by those forces, and also that you would know that you could not really get in the way of someone's urge for freedom by satisfying your own greedy pleasures. That would not be an authentic uh, approach. So you need to work on this a bit more as well, you know. So the second, the second question should answer the first question, like that, in a sense, you see. Because if there's weaknesses inside you, they will get amplified when you're in this type of position also. Not amplified in the public's eye by itself, not that. But amplified inside you. You see. <laughs> but this first moment of attraction is always very strong. And when a certain part of mine starts sending signals to my brain, it is very hard to remain pure. In that second, <coughs> thank you for a, thank you for a fun letter. <laughs> and he says, "Thank you so much for this life." And PPS, what PPS means? 
second P.S. Thank you, Lord, for all the beautiful women. <laughs> and men. I think he has a sense of humor also there. <laughs> I feel very happy somehow. <laughs> <laughs> we have somebody playing music today. <laughs>